All right, now one good example of using an electronic mall effectively is something called Amazon.com. This virtual shop claims to be the world's largest bookstore. Like any other bookshop, this store has shelves, but they are not for browsing. It has a cash register of sorts, but no one is waiting in line to pay. That's because Amazon.com does all of its business over the Internet. And while the surroundings aren't luxurious, the selection is impressive. What makes us different is vast selection, convenience. We deliver right to the desktop, and also the fact that we're the broadest discounters in the world. We discount over 300,000 titles, basically the best-selling titles. And those are, uh, you know, that's twice as many titles as the largest physical bookstore even offers. If our catalog were printed on paper, it would be the size of seven New York City phone books. With over one million titles on hand, the company claims to be the biggest bookshop on Earth or about six times larger than the biggest physical bookstore. Naturally, there are some twists about buying books over the net. You can't pick up and leaf through an eye-catching volume, but you can search a huge database by author, subject, or with keywords. The company also offers a service called Eyes and Editors. Through email, Amazon will keep you informed of your favorite author's latest work or of new books on a particular subject. People love to shop for books. I love to shop for books, and I like to go to physical bookstores and spend two hours. I like to open the books and just hear the bindings creak. And Amazon.com is never going to have any of that tactical, tactile stuff. We're never going to have any uh, you know, cafes or lattes or anything like that. But we can make Amazon.com Amazon every bit as fun and engaging as a, physical, a good physical bookstore. It's just that it'll be different. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Giles Bateman.